Charlie is here with this crocodile. <laughs> Mouth is taped up, yeah. thank goodness, because he's been pretty feisty. He the last is. Few he, I'm surprised he calmed down right now. I was uh, kind of waiting because he could feel them build up. So he's a Philippine crocodile. <laughs> and um, believe it or not, he's uh, a big focus at the zoo. Um, we have quite a few of Philippine crocodiles, and he's an endangered species. He's one of, oh. um, uh, he's kind of up there with one of the, the rarer species of crocodilians. Um, we have, uh, of course, a breeding pair. This is about two years old. And um, we have several groups of them, um, several different stages. Uh -huh. um, a lot of our crocodiles go out to other zoos. Um, there's a, uh, also talks about reintroducing them back into the wild, um, but because they are uh, an extremely endangered species. So um, he's been a long time uh, breeding program that we have at the zoo. And not this one, obviously, right. but it is uh, the breeding pair that we have on exhibit. So it's really important. And people really don't, don't know about like some of the, the animals that we have, that we have this really big breeding program with um, basically a survival plan. And um, so he's one of them. He's, and he's, how big does he get? Because if he's only two right now. Yeah, he's pretty big right now. So they can get, oh my gosh, some of the ones that we have at the zoo are probably about eight plus wow. or so. They're not as big as like some of the other types of like a saltwater crocodile, mm -hmm. uh, maybe um, eight to 10, somewhere around there. But, mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, he's, they're not the largest by far, but they are pretty hefty. And yeah, they're kind of, we had to tape his, his mouth shut because he would he would bite me. I'd have a well, little. Well, he was hissing. Yeah, he was hissing. I, I took a smaller <laughs> one to a school one time and it bit me and I was bleeding all over the place. Oh my gosh, Charlie! <laughs> so I learned my lesson. Yes, Because yes. I thought I was real brave. I was like, no, I can yeah. handle it. No, it didn't work out. Yeah, but it's very important for education. Yeah. It is. It, it's very important so that way um, people know that you know there's not like a giraffe or you know a gorilla or something that we can recognize right away that's an endangered species. There's uh -huh. a lot of other um, um, uh, insects. There's uh, amphibians. There's reptiles mm -hmm. that are also um, endangered as well. And speaking of educating people, you know, it's, it's going to be back to school time yeah. very soon. Some schools starting on Monday the 13th. Yes. And... I feel like this weekend is going to kind of be a big, because uh, usually the right before back to school, we get a big rush of, of everybody. Mm -hmm. But um, of course, you know, we can make it out. We can get a family membership because we have, not only is we're getting started with our, I was telling you a little bit earlier about our events. event season. Yeah. So we have a lot of events. A lot of them are free with your uh, membership. So it's a good time. You can maybe start at, um, family membership start at $80. So it'd be a good deal, especially if you have a bigger family. Yeah. Anything happening this weekend? Other um, than the last we have a little session? play day, like yeah. on, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, we have some activities for some of the animals. But um, for the most part, and then we have um, some presentations going out throughout the day. All right, sounds good. Well, thanks for joining thanks. us. And we are going to be right back.